So with Trayvon Diggs tearing his ACL, it is going to be up to guys like Deron Bland and Jordan Lewis to really step up. But ultimately, I think Deron Bland is going to be the big one. And Bland's had a pretty solid start to the 2023 NFL season. Today, we're going to analyze his tape a little bit. We're going to analyze why I think Deron Bland has massive upside and why the Cowboys could ultimately choose to keep Bland in the slot because he's looked very, very good in the slot and possibly move Jordan Lewis to the outside or a different corner to the outside or even possibly trade for a guy. You know, Bland to me has great ability and, and these are the type of plays where you really are able to recognize how good this guy could possibly be, right? His ball skills through the roof. His ability to turn and cover and run with almost any wide receiver is through the roof. And we've seen this guy now for a number of games in which the guy dominates. I'm very excited to break down this guy's tape. Let's get right into it. So you got a second and 11 on this play. Bland's going to do a great job recognizing, reading, and making the play. Second and 11, and you're going to lose three yards on this one. This is a really, really nice shot by Bland to really recognize and blow the play up. Again, part of what I think made Bland such a good corner last season was that he was able to not only cover, but he was able to also make tackles. He's able to wrap up the running back and bring them down for a loss of yards like the one here. Check out another really nice rep here by Deron Bland. He's going to be in coverage on Alan Lazard. He takes away the initial portion within the route. Lazard's going to take off running and Bland's going to just kind of stay all over it. Again, just a really, really nice overall rep. You can see that Bland's going to first and foremost get his hands on the receiver. As the quarterback's going to get out of the pocket here, the receiver is going to turn up field. And Bland's going to turn and run with that. This is a great job right there. Because had Bland not recognized that quick enough, this could have been a, a potential big game. Right, so just a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Check this next snap out. Bland's going to be in the slot once again. And this time, the quarterback's going to look over to his way, and he's going to decide not to actually throw the pass. He's going to take off running and pick up a couple yards. But you guys can see from the end zone angle here, the quarterback's going to take the ball, and he's going to look directly over towards Bland. He's going to initially look to possibly throw it. And you can tell he's getting ready to throw it because he takes that left hand off the football right there, and that is because he's looking to possibly throw it. Now, I want to back this play up a little bit. Now, this is officially a cover four, as you guys can see the four defensive backs, which means Bland has to play the curl flats. And within this play, he's going to do exactly what he's responsible for. So that's a great job right there by Bland. I oftentimes say this, you know, the best plays sometimes by defensive backs are not getting tested, right? Not getting the ball thrown to your side. And within this play, Bland does a really, really nice job just kind of sticking on top of it. Quarterback takes off running because there's nowhere to throw it. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Third and long here, watch Deron Bland read, recognize, come up, and make the play. Uh, Bland's going to make the tackle before the, the receiver here is able to pick up the first down. Great job by Deron Bland. Again, as I said before, he's a pretty good tackler, and I think that does go a long way. He's one of those guys that, as he continues to develop over the course of his career, you know, if he wants to be a true every-down cornerback, tackling's going to be a big part of it. So this right here is a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. Check this third and two out. Bland's going to do a great job shooting the gap. And he's ultimately going to take two guys on within this play. He's basically going to take on Evan Neal, the right tackle. Or at least he's going to run into him. Right? And you can see it. That number 86 is not able to block Bland. Within that, he's going to jump the gap. He even hits the right tackle here, 73. And he disrupts 73. And 73 is not able to get to his guy. In this instance, it's Marquise Bell, who ends up blowing the play. You can really see that from the angle here. As Bland jumps the gap, he also hits number 73, the right tackle. And again, Bell's able to kind of go free because of that. So that's a really nice job right there by the corner. So very solid job here by Bland to come off the edge on the blitz. He's going to get a hit on the quarterback. It's a really, really nice job. Let's get into the next rep. Now, so far this season, Bland has only given up four catches for a total of 16 yards, and he's played coverage over 65 times. So you can tell that this guy's doing a really, really nice job just kind of staying over the top. And here's another really good example. Uh, on this one, he's playing some sort of man coverage, and you can see he just basically stays over the top. Right, so again, there's a lot of plays like this on tape by Bland. And it is a part of why I'm not 100% sure if it would make sense to move Bland 
from the inside to the outside when he's had so much success. And oftentimes finding that slot corner is very difficult. Again, a lot of plays like this where the guy literally just is not tested by the defense. And he's oftentimes making great contact, getting his hands on people, and just doing a really solid overall job. This time he's matched up against Darren Waller. Waller's going to run a crossing pattern, and you're going to see Bland basically just be all over it once again. Again, this is a very, very nice technique. Great fluid movements within it. He's really able to run with some of these guys, as you guys can see. And just generally speaking, this is part of why Bland looks very good so far on tape for me. And although I know Bland can jump to the outside if needed, it's going to be interesting to see how the Cowboys kind of move forward. You know, is it Bland that's going to jump to the outside? Maybe one of the other guys ends up starting. We'll see ultimately what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. It was a quick little film breakdown that I wanted to do a Bland's. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.